Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talk to you guys over a little bit of a mod spotlight, guys, as you guys can see, we're in the mod spotlight world. I'm sorry for any background noise that you guys will be hearing, because I do have a lot of family over, but I wanted to get a video out for you guys. This is a pretty damn cool mod uh, that I want to show you guys, and it is the da -da -da -da, Green Thumb mod by Anosphorus... I'm not even going to continue trying, but this is def definitely a cool mod. It should probably be in default Minecraft already. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a job at Mojang yet, because this is definitely a cool mod. It's kind of like the Uncraftables mod, but it goes even further, adding more recipes, and in my opinion, I think this is a little bit better than the uh, the Uncraftables mod. But uh, before I get started, I'd like to mention two quick things. One, guys, I, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys could remember to rate the video if you guys like it. If you guys go and check out this mod, if you guys, you know, do like how I spotlighted it, if you guys do uh, enjoy this video, or you just want to support the channel, remember guys to rate down below, because it really does help out. The second thing is, guys, in order to install this mod, you guys will need Minecraft Forge, so if you want to install this, go check out the video that I linked in the description to uh, install Minecraft Forge, and then from there you just drag and drop this file that you will find on the forum page that's in the description into your mods folder, and you're all good. It's pretty much like every other mod. So, anyway, let's get started. This is all the things that it adds crafting recipes to in Minecraft, and that is pretty darn cool. For those of you who have, you know, spent a ton of time looking for cobwebs or look or trying to get flint in a map, trying to make some arrows, or trying to, you know, find leather, or trying to find a saddle even, you will know how difficult it is to get that. Or even getting, like, endstone. Say you just want to decorate with endstone, it's very difficult. And even, you know, ice and stuff. Like, a lot of these different items require you to have a silk touch pick, and silk touch is one of the most difficult uh, enchantments I have personally found to get. And uh, this makes it just really easy, or not really easy, but just it offers a different way to get them. So I'm going to go through some of the crafting recipes. So things like saplings. So, um, oh, didn't mean to do that. So things, things like saplings you can now craft by taking that type of wood and putting it next to bone meal. If you wanted to, you could also get a birch sapling by getting a birch piece of wood, putting it next to a piece of bone meal. Uh, so that would really be great if you wanted to, you know, make sure you had a tundra style forest with like a bunch of dark wood or a bunch of light wood like birch. Um... Also, guys, you have sticks. So sticks can be, you know, maybe you're down in the ground, you're mining, and you don't have, you know, a, a log or something like that, but you do have, oh, wait for it, there we go. Uh, you don't have a log and wood and all that, but you do have saplings. You can throw your saplings in, and it'll give you six sticks out. I really do like that. It's not something you're going to be using all the time, but when you're in a, a clutch situation and you need some uh, sticks, that'll definitely help out. Or maybe even you need some torches or something. Next one's mycelium. This one I really, really like because mycelium is the most difficult thing to find like ever like I can never find it and this is actually really cool so it has dirt it has four bone meal and then it adds in a new uh, item which is crushed brown mushrooms and all you guys need to do is throw a mushroom inside there so a brown mushroom inside there uh, and then also as you guys can see there's crushed red mushroom and that's just red mushroom in your crafting bench so that's really cool. Next one, mossy cobblestone. That's or mossy stone. That's pretty simple. You know, it's just gonna be cobblestone and some vines. Next one is soul sand. This one's kind of neat. It's going to be soul sand, uh, an or netherrack, an obsidian, and a bone. And even further, netherrack have, has a crafting recipe now with obsidian and then uh, eight dirt around it. So that's definitely. I I really like that. I think that's you know a fair recipe, especially if you want soul sands. It's gonna stop you from going to the nether, but you will require to get a lot of obsidian. Next one would be Netherrack, which I already showed you guys. The saddle, uh, this is kind of neat. I like how they changed up the the ability. Pretty much anything that requires leather, you can also use rotten flesh. I like that because leather is very difficult to come by unless you want to start up a cow farm. Uh, so, but if you're if you made a unique house somewhere where it's difficult to get cows there, that's going to be really difficult to start up a farm. So I like how they implemented rotten flesh, so you can just get a mob spawner. So if you want to make a saddle, it's going to be an iron ingot between you know kind of a, a boots layout of uh, leather. Um, from there we got an item frame, so an item frame, again, you can switch out the leather for a piece of rotten flesh, that's the only difference. You have leather boots, again, you can switch out the leather for rotten flesh, uh, and that's even, like, any, that's any, uh, type of leather armor that you want. Next one would be sponge, and this one's really cool because sponge is, like, it's, you can't get it, it's just so hard. Um, that's what she said. Uh, so, like, you got a bucket, you got a bunch of, gr uh, gray wool right here, and then you have some yellow wool, which is kind of neat, I like that. Um, chain link. Chain link is kind of an interesting one because I'm kind of torn because chain link is meant to get chain link armor and if four of these is four iron ingots uh, it's going to be like 
the same thing, but why wouldn't you just go with iron? So, I don't know, if you like the look of chain link armor, I guess it's cool, but I, I, I think they should have added something else in there. But anyway, moving past that, you can actually make leaves. So leaves are something, like if you don't want to go make shears and you got a bunch of saplings, you got a bunch of seeds, throw them together, you get a bunch of leaves. Next would be string, so if you guys just want string, you don't have spiders around, you can't find a cave system to get cobwebs, you can actually just break up a piece of wool and get some string, and then on top of that, you can use that to make cobwebs again by throwing the string in there. So if you have a bunch of wool and you want a bunch of cobwebs, you can do that. You also have books, really the only difference is leather instead of, uh, or rotten flesh instead of leather. Endstone is going to be dirt, soul sand, and sand, so you can make the soul sand using the crafting recipe that they added in, and then use that to throw it in with sand and dirt and make some soul sand. Flint, this one's really cool, this one's really cool with flint, you just smelt gravel opposed to having to continuously break it. I hate having to do that, I hate having to just continuously break the same piece of gravel with a shovel, trying to get a flint out of it, so just smelting it is awesome. You got some cracked stone, this is actually a pretty interesting one. Cracked stone looks nice when you want to use it uh, in the right placement, and you you know, throwing a wooden pickaxe in there uh, and a stone to get six of them. I think that's kind of fair. Um, grass blocks. Grass blocks. Uh, I think this one's a really difficult to get, like, to be complete, for, completely frank. But uh, if you guys really do want, you know, some grass blocks, I guess you could do this. Next one, uh, I already showed you guys cobwebs. Ice. Ice is definitely a cool one. Kind of like the uncraftables. The uncraftables was a little bit more difficult, I think. But now it's a water bucket and snowball, and then that's pretty cool. I do like that. And then finally the music disc guys so there's a bunch of different types of music discs pretty much all of them include you swapping out I, the the middle block so you'd swap it out for like a flint and steel or a blue die or a yellow die or uh you know some other item you guys can go check out the forum page for all of the different ones depending on what specific disc you guys would like but uh, there is a lot of them but anyway guys i'm sorry that it was all crafting recipes i that's just kind of the nature of the beast when you get into these type of mods uh i really do like it and i really suggested that you guys go check it out go try it in your your minecraft and stuff because it doesn't add you know any new items but it does add uh the ability to have different ways of getting these items which really a lot of them you require a silk touch pick for and uh that's not usually the best thing so anyway guys hopefully you'd enjoy subscribe to the nation if you already haven't remember rate the video down below anyway i'm the doctor and i'm out Peace.